Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute Oh, I never thought Through love we'd be Making one as lovely as she But isn't she lovely Made from love Isn't she pretty Truly the angel's best Boy, I'm so happy We have been heaven blessed I can't believe what God has done Through us, he's given life to one But isn't she lovely made from love? Hey guys, Kenzie Restricted coming at you. It is April the 22nd. 2012. Um, I'm currently 26 weeks pregnant, um, 88 weeks post-op lap band. Um, I usually come on here and talk a lot about myself and a lot about what's going on with me and my life and happy. And, um, uh, but that week, this week it is not so. Um, I have a very good friend who I met through YouTube. Actually I met her through Connie and Rosemary when Rosemary was in Dallas at one time. Um, visiting, and um, Summer and I went to go and meet her. Um, if you don't know Summer, Summer's YouTube channel is Summer8807. Um, she had gastric bypass. She doesn't make videos a lot. She hasn't made a video in a long time, but um, we still met through YouTube. And so um, Summer and I have become very good friends. And earlier, um, about four months ago, Summer and I found out we were pregnant together. So we were very excited, um, you know, joking about how we're going to go through the summer and be so hot and pregnant and oh, um, and how our little girls, because we had both found out we were having girls, um, we're going to grow up and be best friends and love each other and um, just very, very exciting. Um, usually I make my updates on Fridays. Uh, today is currently Sunday and um, on Friday... Um, I kind of fiddle farted around and didn't do anything, mostly. And um, I noticed that Summer had posted something on her Facebook that concerned me. Um, I text messaged her and she didn't respond. And so um, I kind of, you know, thought about her throughout the day, wondering what was going on. And then Summer's very good friend um, that she's been friends with since high school, I'm sure, or middle school. Um, texted me and let me know that Summer actually was in the hospital and had been in the hospital since earlier that morning. Um, Summer went to go see, this was Thursday night, Thursday night her and a group of friends went to go see The Lucky One um, that came out at midnight and so they went to see it then and she, she had said that she had a little um, bit of cramping. Um, nothing that she was really concerned with, she didn't think that it was really, you know, anything. She thought maybe she had overeaten. Um, the next morning she went to use the restroom and she noticed that there was something wrong. Um, so she went to the hospital and they let her know that her cervix had opened and let the ambiotic sac um, come through. Summer was currently 19 weeks pregnant so um, they began to induce labor um, because Charlie was um, only 19 weeks there was no um, medical intervention on her part so um, Summer went through the night she was giving uh, medication every four hours to um, cause her to go into labor and at 7.04 on the 21st, Summer gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. She was um, nine and a half inches long, long baby, um, and weighed uh, eight ounces. Um, she was born with a heartbeat, and Summer and her husband um, were able to hold her and spend time with her before um, she went to be with the Lord. So, um, of course my heart is uh, breaking for my friend 
I um I am definitely uh, grieving with them. Um, Summer and I talked a lot about how um, Charlotte, they named her Charlotte Lee Hughes, and she was beautiful. Um, I know she was beautiful both to us um, and Summer's family, but also in the eyes of God. So, um, you know, Summer and I talked a lot about um, how our little girls were going to grow up and be best friends and play together and a lot of things. And so, um, it's very, very sad. Very sad. But I know, and I know that the Hughes know that, um, God has a bigger plan for both them and for Charlie. So, uh, being strong in their faith is definitely helping. And, uh, to know that there is, there was a, a purpose for this. So, um, trying to be gracious to God at this time is not exactly easy. Um, you know, I, I, I definitely believe, you know, God giveth and God taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, um, I hope that all of you guys will pray for our friend. Um, her and Michael are still currently in the hospital and will go home sometime today. Uh, today's Sunday. So, just keep them in your thoughts and your prayers as they start this very, very long grieving process. Um, Summer and her husband both have a very, um, a great sense of humor and, uh, I know that that helps a lot, but I also want Summer to know that, you know, you don't have to be strong right now. It's not, you don't, no one is expecting you to, um, you know, pick yourself up from your bootstraps right now. No, not at all. Um, so... Anyways, I hope everyone is having a better week than we are here in Garland. Um, I know that uh, all, a lot of you care about Summer and know Summer from her previous videos, and so I hope that you will be thinking about her and her husband at this time. Um, I will talk to you guys next week, and um, I hope you all have a blessed Sunday. Bye.